We're going to begin with the chaos in Puerto Rico, a 6.4 earthquake and multiple aftershocks rocking the island just a day after a 5.8 earthquake destroyed multiple homes in this famous landmark, the Punta Ventana Rock Formation. ABC's Victor Kendo starts us off with the very latest. Good morning, Victor. Good morning, Michael. This was felt across the island, the most powerful earthquake yet, followed by a swarm of at least 11 more. The notoriously vulnerable power grid was shut down proactively, and we're now getting a better scope of the damage with Sunrise. Power in my room here in Old San Juan is out. This morning, Puerto Rico engulfed in darkness, lights barely flickering at the airport in San Juan. The power went out at the airport. At least one hospital forced to evacuate patients to the streets in their gurneys after a powerful 6.4 earthquake rocked the island this morning. Oh my God, it's shaking. 21-year-old Nicole Peralta lives in San Juan and woke up to her apartment swaying back and forth. I could hear cracks through my house. Uh everything started falling over. This comes on the heels of Monday's 5.8 quake called a foreshock that shook houses right off their foundations, snapped power poles, and toppled this home, pancaking both cars parked below. It was one of the strongest quakes to ever hit the U.S. territory, causing small landslides on this highway. Drivers forced to avoid boulders during their morning commute. Officials say tremors have been hitting the area since late December, the quake striking less than 10 miles off the southwest coast near the major city of Ponce, a place we visited a few months ago. Still so vulnerable, more than two years since Hurricane Maria. When they rain, rain coming, a lot of water. A lot of water comes right inside water the house. Up. More than 13 aftershocks followed Monday's quake, this station on the air during one of them. The threat of a quake looms large here because Puerto Rico sits along the border of two tectonic plates. Officials say people in the southwest part of the island need to remain on high alert. Reports of a handful of injuries in the southern part of the island are coming in now. One of the main power plants in that same area also sustained some damage. The hope is that power will be restored later today, but with so many strong aftershocks, there's no timetable for that. Robin? Frightening situation there. All right, Victor, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.